my youngest daughter has been glued to my side all day. This is new for me. Um, sometimes it feels like she doesn't even like me. Let, let me back up. My name is Coach Bruce, and I'm a life coach for ADHD parents. I woke up this morning, day two, of being off of my ADHD medication, and my first thought was, let's go back to sleep. That heaviness that usually my Adderall helps to keep at bay that says, don't do anything, it doesn't matter anyways, set in. It's first thing in the morning, it's cold, it's dark. The alarm is just a suggestion, right? It was a struggle. It was hard. And this is only day two of being off of my medication. It wasn't time to quit. So I started my routine. My back was fucking killing me. I did my exercises to help try to bring some relief because I can't do anything if I can't sit up straight. So <clears throat> on a note to that, I think that going off the medication is actually going to help my back. I did some research and I have been struggling with extra like super tight and rigid muscles for as long as I can remember. And I've been medicated for as long as I can remember. I was a I was an athlete in high school, had no problems with any sort of pain whatsoever until I hurt my knee for the first time. And that was that was not really a big deal. But as far as I can remember as an adult, I have always struggled with shin splints, tightness in my calves, hip, back, and everything tightness. And I think it's the Adderall. So we'll find out in the next couple of weeks if I start to actually feel some flexibility come back. But as I was struggling this morning in bed, I wanted to fucking quit. Like I wanted to not do anything that I laid out before, any of my plan, any of the things I need to do on a daily basis, my, my morning readings and meditation, my business call I had today, all of it already felt like too much. But I remembered there's something bigger than me. I have a responsibility to the people outside of my bedroom to get up and do what I know needs to be done. It was a struggle. It was fucking hard to get started with the day, but I did. I did everything I was supposed to do, knocked out my, my fitness routine, knocked out my mental routine, did my daily writing, and the day felt a lot lighter. I just started. Then I did, I jumped on the call I had scheduled for today with uh, somebody I'm working with, a, a funnel I'm managing. That went great. It was another thing that felt like it was going to be so much and so heavy, and I just did it. And it was actually fantastic. And it reminded me why I want to work with this person. But I almost canceled because it was heavy. Sometimes you have to just go ahead and do it. Then I had homeschool for the rest of the day. So I had to get out and just start doing homeschool with the kids. And that felt like a lot. It felt so heavy. My brain was a little scattered, and I didn't know exactly what to do next. And I remembered. All you're responsible for now is homeschooling the kids. You've already done your work for the, you know, well, at least your, your scheduled work for the day. You've done your workout. You've done your, you've done everything that you need to get done first thing in the morning. So just go out and homeschool the kids. And I did. And I sat with my daughter, my youngest, and she was just treating me different. She was, she was clinging like, Clingy in the best possible way. She sat in my lap while I read her books. She sat in my lap while I read my her siblings' books. She came back after we were finished with school and didn't want me to get up to do anything else. And as I sat there thinking, like, what is going on? Who is this little love bug who is just so entranced with me right now? And I realized that maybe it's not her that's changed. It's me. My wife and I had had conversations before about how my youngest doesn't want to come to me whenever something's wrong because she's afraid to ask me. And as I'm releasing that cloud of medication and I'm thinking about what it's what it actually looked like to her whenever I'm coming with the most logical possible answer when she's dealing with little kid problems, I probably sound like an asshole. I probably sounded like I didn't care because I didn't necessarily care about how she was feeling. I cared about handling a solution to the problem. 
And whenever there's people involved, feelings matter. But they haven't mattered to me for so long. This little girl has never known me not being numb to my emotions and feelings. So today, whenever I'm open, like I can't fully feel my feelings yet, but I'm open to feeling them. I'm looking for them. I'm searching out with love in my heart. Of course, the littlest one is the first to notice it. The kids are so smart and they, they are so open to feeling the emotions in the air. So whenever that, that fortress I had built around my emotions was let down, of course, she was the first one to notice it and say, there's my dad. And I guess I can feel now. It was beautiful to have her. She didn't want anything from me except for me to just be there. And how how much has it felt like her or felt to her like I didn't want to be there for her this entire time because I was closed off? I want nothing more than to be everything that my children need. But if I can't feel them and they can't feel me, how are they ever going to be comfortable telling me what they need? Or how are they going to be comfortable showing me their emotions whenever I don't have any to show them in return? I can't continue life like that. Something has to change. So it seemed pretty clear that <clears throat> having access to my emotions is something that I've been missing pretty drastically. But I made a decision. I I searched my heart, I prayed, I wrote, and I made a decision. I'm going off. I took I went off the meds and I'm having faith in something outside of myself to be better. I'm not going to just, you know, go into it without any sort of plan. Like I've done I've done the work to actually define what's important to me and to have something to move towards. And that's something I've never had before. So I'm, I'm praying that with the support of God, the support of my family and the support of a plan and something that actually guides me, I'm going to be able to have it all. I'm going to be able to feel my feelings and get the things done that I need to get done. But I will tell you very quickly, getting back and being on the computer has seemed a whole lot less fucking important. I'm going to stick to the things that I that I stated were important before I went off the medication because I know that there was a logic there. I know that logical analytical Bruce set out a plan and a purpose for a reason. And now I just have to show up and do, do the minimum possible and then be there for my family. And the being there for my family part is not going to be hard anymore because I feel the desire to, that I didn't feel before. And I'm already feeling grateful for the opportunity. And I wasn't able to feel grateful before. I wasn't able to feel, really feel the love. Like I knew it existed. I knew that it's there. I could name it. I could kind of define it, but I wasn't, it wasn't radiating from here. And now it is. I could, it already is. So this is just two days off. So I hope that. It doesn't get too wild. I hope I'm able to to manage as I move forward. I know, I know that I will. I will manage as I move forward. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to manage. It might involve exercising more or getting more reps doing something like more writing, more whatever. But I know that I can manage these emotions and I can I can turn them to good so I can be there for my family because I actually have something I'm working towards now. And before I didn't have that. And if you are like me or like I was and didn't realize that you were living your life without a plan, you might need some fucking help. I certainly needed help realizing that I was not working towards anything that actually mattered towards me. Comment in the in the section if you know what I'm talking about. Comment in the comments. Say no plan if you know what I'm talking about, because it is important to know what is important. If I were to talk to you face to face and say, what do you want for your life? Do you have an answer? 
do you have a like have you actually specified why you're going to work every day what you're leaving your house for what you want for your body what you want for your balance with your family what you want for your relationship with god do you know i know i didn't i do now and it makes all the freaking difference so jump on sorry j- jump into the description and click that link in the bio and go take the ADHD aimless life assessment so you can get the next steps to start being the main character of your life and stop being a bystander. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.